Okay, back with my uh, King Striker here. The 57th kit from the Bill Fighters um, Dialogue, number 65, and it does look pretty cool. Uh, but except for the head, I don't really like this armored head, man, because it's kind of goofy and looks like. It looks like a frog, eh? Because it's like, things are already like green already, but I don't like. I'm not thinking this like helmet thing, man. It's crazy. Just remove right now, okay? Yeah, it happens when you do like single handedly. Okay, now we're back to business, man. Look at that head now. Oh, that's the Jinx head. That was nice, man. I drop a head. Okay, so the kit. Um, basically, articulation is really not that good. I uh, guess it's a 10 year old kit. But. What it has going for is that I think the the overall look it looks like very military like kind of kind of a movie suit and I really like this theme you know like the light green with the darker green right here but some of the stickers so that's fine and the understandable I know it's high grade right so but um I think this kid kid's pretty nice actually you know like just some of the run of the um, some old kids and just ask like some. Um, New armor to it and new like armor in it. So I think it's a good idea actually. Because like come on like um that's what Cap Analytics wanted to do, right? Because they like, recycle stuff for good. But these are the kits that you know you don't get like you don't get like uh you don't you don't feel like very it's like very out of date because like um it's kinda like this this vibe is going for it, right? So yeah, I really like this movie actually in this color. Now, you no, know, back then they have like the Jinx. Like, I, I haven't built an HG level one. But I built the mask gray one, like which is a gray one, and it was like um, it's okay, it's nice. But when compared to this, this is way better because uh, I don't have those binders on the sides, and those binders on the sides really don't look good. <laughs> uh, like in my, my in my opinion, you know, some some things are okay, but no problem, yeah. But the weapon's pretty cool. I really like this um, beam smart gun weapon here. It's basically like three separate parts of the rifle. It's good to put together, but um, there's a mistake. You see here, right? I put some super cool, super cool in this part because uh, it uh, I accidentally knocked it, it off for a broken this piece. So uh, I snapped off the peg. So I just like this. Uh, Super hard cement I bought in Canada when I was there like two months ago. It looks pretty good, but I gotta send that down, man, because like that ain't cool looking at that stuff, you know. I got the GN skill here, actually. I don't really use this part because I don't really like it. <laughs> you, um, for this part, right? It's the GN, uh, show? Yeah, I'll put it on this side. You know, you can also just, uh, put it on this side. Like, just get this thing off, like the uh, GN discharger. And you just plug it in. Yep. Yeah. And just uh, open hand, free, left hand. Two beam sabers. One's supposed to go on the tip of this. Beam spark in. Right here. I try to get my lens to focus here. Yeah, this part. Yeah, but uh, overall, I think. Nice kit, you know? I, I like I, I used to check out that gray. Yeah, so some of these pieces I have to like uh, cement it back on, like this basket. Because when you move it slightly, it just falls off. And also, also these like GN dispense rods, they tend to, I don't know, probably put on too hard and like probably just stress the connection here. So it wobbles a lot, it's very flimsy. So I had to use some little Tamai cement on that also. Not a lot because I, don't, I wanted it to be stuck right here. It's stuck right here. Next time I pose it, like just put, like grab this part and just pull it out like quickly and break off, right? Because uh, that's what happens, man. Because like cement just like it melts the bastard together. That's why. Yeah, but uh, for for this guy, I'm thinking about like um, using airbrush, uh, some some colors. Actually, um, hold on. I got some colors in mind. <laughs> okay. I. 
So this is the, the Tamaya Kala. Let's see what we got. XF21. Is that in? Yep, XF21. It's the, let's see, it's an RAF color. So I'm probably use this on the light green parts like you uh, see here. Like on those, uh, right here, this place. Probably, uh, I don't know, I think of dark green. So it's the XF81 uh, actually I'm using here, break point, maybe. And probably, uh, I don't know if it's wrong. Yeah, I, I just like get those stickers, like, uh, Put off for something. Uh, see what happens. But uh, what I want to do, this guy, is like um, probably do some bow damage and also uh, just some detail painting here and there. Because um, I don't know, I, feel, I don't even feel like painting. Actually, so that's why I use this uh, stickers. But uh, maybe on some of the parts, I I'll probably use the RAF um, uh, uh, green over there. All right, and next week I'll probably paint this up and uh, just do some detail uh, painting on it. And I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. Bye.